Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm heading out into the streets of Tokyo to shoot with this 85mm f1.4, which is uh, the Mark II Samyang, link in the description. This video is sponsored by Artlist, and we'll see that in the next clip. All of the photos in today's video are in my presets. There's a link in the description for that as well, as long as with some merch. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, notification bell. Let's go. Now, before we move on, I want to talk about today's sponsor of this video, Artlist. Artlist is an easy to use platform that has over 22,000 songs and 27,000 sound effects for you to use as a creator. Now, if you are creating content here on YouTube or on any platform, I recommend that you use Artlist. Down in the description, there is a link. If you use that link with an annual subscription, you will get an extra two months. Now, this for me personally has helped me excel my creative flow. Being able to use the platform seamlessly is amazing and when you're on the go as much as i am especially week in week out day after day creating content trying to find new sounds trying to find something different to go with the video that i'm creating artlist is what i use every single time in the description there's a link go sign up we're going to carry on okay so as we start this mammoth journey i have got the 85 1.4 on the camera the sony a74 gonna get this really nice kind of architectural simplistic shot it would be really cool if somebody was walking through the frame, like coming down the stairs or something, it'd look really cool. But it's a nice little test shot, nice little starter as we go on. Now, we've got a bit of a walk planned. We're kind of heading towards a shrine because it's our last day here in Tokyo. And we're just, we're just out, we're just here. We're walking all the way to the shrine. It's about a two hour walk. Um, and then I'm also going out this evening. In the background, this might work. Settings might be all wrong. The 1.4 on this is just lovely. Obviously, as we go along, I'll change it up between probably f1.4 and f4, uh, f4, but it depends. It's all about creative style as well. Personally, I prefer the f1.4 um, because it gives that nice separation to the background. Um, I have linked this 85mm from Samyang f1.4 Mark II down below in the description. Go and check it out. It's a great lens. Um, and you can kind of treat this video as a bit of a review of it, and I'll talk about it as we go along. change up the settings here I'm gonna to go to f4 and we're gonna go 800 no yeah f4 800 of a second I'm gonna get down to get some more of that shadow in it nice landscape shot here we're at f4 landscape I think actually portrait might work a little bit better Gonna get a portrait to get more of the lines in the shot. But then also landscape. I think one of the downsides to... One of the downsides to social media is that it's taught us, well, I, over time, not, not so much in the past, but now more than ever, you've kind of had to adapt to shooting mostly, mostly in portrait because that's what they recommend that's what they suggest you to do especially for instagram so shooting in landscape things obviously look a lot better they look more cinematic in my opinion obviously this is all my opinion everything looks better in landscape because it looks more natural we don't we don't see the world in portrait right we don't look through this we're not seeing everything top to bottom we're seeing everything side to side almost so for me one of the biggest negatives when it comes to photography is that we're almost forced to fit in as a photographer, as a content creator these days, we're almost forced down the route of shooting in portrait. Okay, we don't have to, and there's a lot of creatives out there, photographers out there that shoot predominantly in landscape only and post Instagram, but essentially it doesn't work as well. What I think is good is I think if you have time with a location, you should shoot both. You should shoot portraits and you should shoot landscapes to be able to give you both sets. So when you wanna to post to Twitter or to Vero or to Facebook, you can use that landscape shot or even to your portfolio. And then if you want to uh, shoot to, and then if you want to post to Instagram, then you can use the portrait shot that you have. Now, I do sometimes use, when I'm shooting on my own, I use the electronic shutter in the Sony A7 IV uh, because it's quieter. And when you're in quieter settings, it's uh, obviously way better. But uh, for, these, for these videos that I do, the POVs, I always have the um, mechanical on so you can kind of hear that, that nice rewarding sound when I take a shot. Mm. 
landscape shot here. Quite a bit going on, especially with that light down there. And we'll get one in portrait. The portrait one, though, I'm going to get further down and get some of the writing in. Eh, it's not a bad shot, but, you know, as all photographers, we, hit, we take time. We take time to warm up. I'm just warming up and uh, just kind of getting my eye in with the light and everything that's going on. And I'm sure we'll get some bangers as the day goes on. Here, we're going to go to F1.4. Way too slow. Shot here, this dude crossing the wall landscape. Oh, nice, sick, that was nice. I was kind of positioned a bit wrong then, um, but the shot turned out pretty good, I think. Nice, nice little landscape shot of this dude. I think we're gonna put him in the right-hand side quarter. Just like that, just waiting for maybe, oh, there was a guy in the background, like kind of, maybe the cyclist too. That was kind of cool. I mean, a nice, plain, simple shot. I'm gonna get this one shot that I wanna get, just here. Kind of see a dude on the left hand side of the corner. Uh, so I think a shot here would be cool to this dude. So Pulling focus all the way through. Somebody going for you on a bicycle. Ah, it's all right. It's not bad. It's good for what it is, I think. So there's a shot here that I'm going to get. I'm, you can kind of see this dude up here. He's abseiling down the side of the building, cleaning it. I think a nice landscape shot would look pretty good, especially with the lighting as it is. Maybe I can get some more stuff in the foreground. It might add some stuff to it. Add some stuff. Great English there. Nice. Pretty sick. Okay, we shall move on and continue this journey wherever we are heading. Oh, hi Roxanne. Hi, I just found another Ooh. <laughs> another event. We're gonna spend a lot of money and get lots of <laughs> sugar highs. Okay, so for this shot I'm at F1.4 because I want to get that separation. Actually no no no, we'll go F we'll get F4. 500 of a second. Just gonna get one here. It's a nice little like street shot. Kind of things going on. I mean, it's it's definitely. I'm definitely lost now. <laughs> definitely where, lost now. where am I going? The shadows right now are so nice. Cyclist. Nice. 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 Oh, that depth is lovely. The reason I like shooting with the 85mm is, one, it's kind of not seen as a street photography lens. Typically you go for something like 35mm, 50mm, and they're kind of seen as street photography lenses. I'm sure purist street photographers would disagree with me, but for me, 85mm is a really good street photography lens because it gives you that depth. It gives you that kind of punchy depth that I personally like. Now, if you're starting out in street photography, I would recommend you to go for something with a variable focal. So something like uh, 18 to 105 or a 24 to 70, where you're gonna be able to get wider shots and obviously those more punched in shots, because then you're not restricting yourself. Another reason why I like the 85 mil is because it is more restrictive. It makes you think about composition. It makes you think about the shot you're trying to get because you only have that one focal length to play around with, which can inherently be harder to shoot with but I think that is a good thing to be able to push yourself as a creative yeah. gonna get one in portrait as well I think oh it wasn't recording right <laughs> no it wasn't oh my jeez Okay, got some shots there, which um, you obviously saw as I was taking them. These streets are just endless fun. There's so much going on. Ah, oh, this is gonna be this will be a good shot, I think. Uh, maybe with the light behind him, if I could change the settings quick enough. Mm, 
this way. So cool, the lighting down here looks amazing. Another dude coming out on a bike. Sick. Can I get him up there? Quite far in the distance, but might be able to. Uh... There's a dude in here sleeping. It's actually quite a cool shot. Landscape. So in here is a, a dude having a rest. Now this is something that I've noticed in Japan and I think I think it should probably happen more often around the world where if you're tired you should pull over and have a nap. If you're, especially if you're a taxi driver or something like that. I'm sure maybe they do it in the UK, I just didn't see it as much. But from the photo you can see on the screen, this dude is he's out. He's out for the camp. He's, he's with the fairies, he's dreaming, he's in some different dimension. He's enjoying his life and having a good sleep. And uh, I think that's what I love about doing street photography is you're you're documenting you're documenting like a a city like the lifestyle of a city and I think sometimes people don't realize that well I mean I do and other photographers realize that but general public don't I'm just gonna sit here for a second to get something going through the frame hopefully maybe did I get it I was looking the other way it would have been nice without the car to be honest so hopefully we get somebody else going through that frame while walking through that frame and get down to get a nice portrait shot of somebody going through there. That's really nice. Just waiting now. Cyclist would be optimum. Is that dude gonna go through? He's putting his stuff on his bike, hoping he's gonna go through the frame. I'm gonna set my focus point to single spot, small. Somebody's walked through the frame, and then another person. And then another person going through the frame. And I'm going to get one in landscape as well. Music to my ears, that is. Cyclist going through. Golden. Literally. Golden hour perfection. Lens flare on the screen, on the on the on the screen, on the lens is absolutely incredible. It's nuts. Yeah, that's why I thought it's gonna have really cool effect. On the phone. Um... I don't know if it'll work with this, but we can try. I'm just getting a couple more shots here because the lighting is is so good. I just don't want to miss it because obviously, in this video, there is two types of lighting I'm gonna get. Har three types, sorry, harsh, golden hour now, blue hour, which is obviously going to be night time. Um, so I just want to make the most of it. Okay, last shot I'm going to get here is, there's like a couple down the end. Oh, tasty goodness, the layers. Okay, right, let's move on. Oh, this light right now is just insane. Oh, the lens flow is just nuts. The cycle is coming towards me. I think I'm gonna get this in portrait. Gonna get down a bit. Oh my actual god, the lighting is nuts. Oh my actual god. I did say we were going to get some absolute bangers. The, the lighting is just incredible. Oh my god, like the lens flare and everything. I'm going to come over to the right hand side. Going to get one in landscape. Going to get a little bit of that lens flare in there. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely... Wow. The lighting is incredible. Let's see if we can come over here a little bit. To the right maybe. Get some of that stuff. The lighting is just lovely. The lighting is so, it's so bright. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my God, it's beautiful though. Like it's, it's actually like, it's mad how the sun just beams down. I mean, it's obvious they're gonna beam down the, the streets, but it's like, 
shut up you know what i mean all right it looks it looks incredible you can just see how amazing the lighting looks i think we're going straight roxanne i think but i kind of want to get like a a shot here maybe if i kind of stand here and just wait for there's a cyclist going through the frame tracking 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 hopefully oh oh camera's doing something funny camera oh dear what's going on here i am low battery okay i took it eventually my uh i got the photo which is a good thing not entirely sure what happened then but we're going to get one in okay so dude going across we're going to take this one in portrait we're going to track 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 get that nice lens flare in there as well um not entirely sure which way we're heading i think we need to go that way and left okay so as you can see the uh the lighting has disappeared very quickly here because of the tall buildings once it goes behind the buildings that's it you know it goes towards like dusk area dusk dusk time uh so we're gonna go and grab a train to the shrine that we're walking to uh because it's much quicker than walking for our train i thought i'd get a quick shot of some of the passengers if i don't get cut off by the train my side coming in um i'm gonna go we'll get one in uh, portrait as well these stations are pretty mad it's pretty sick uh, maybe a landscape shot here to the shrine and hopefully uh, hopefully catch some light before we get there now before we go we're just going to get this shot as i'm leaving the station Sick. Sorry. <laughs> okay, hello. <laughs> just arrived at the shrine that I was just talking about, which is a uh, pretty cool. Got somebody walking up, which is a, a great free subject for me. Uh, I'm gonna go f1.4. Oh, so sick. Now we are heading down to Kyoto, where. There's obviously another one of these, a more famous one, but this is the one in Tokyo. I will, um, I'll link it down in the description for you guys if you want to go and check it out if you come here. But this is so sick. Okay, you can kind of see the shrine as I'm walking down as well. I did just get some shots of Roxanne, but we were trying to be quick because uh, the light was fading, uh, but actually it's not too bad even when it is dark because you've got the lanterns, which make it look really cute. The photos I did get of Roxanne are on the screen, all shot with the 85 mil, um, and the settings are on the screen as well. But uh, again, I'll link this below. We're going to go and uh, grab a bit of food and then continue the second half of this. Well, actually straight away for you, but the second half of this at night time, which uh, I'm pretty excited to do. He's here. I'll link him below. If you don't already follow him, I'm pretty sure you will after you see his page because it's pretty incredible. We're going to go do some street stuff now around Shinjuku. But while we're waiting to cross, I'm thinking I might try and get a panning shot. See if we can get this dude. Why didn't it take a photo? What was that about? Not entirely sure why that didn't work, but we'll get a second opportunity, I am sure, as a Porsche goes past as I'm talking. But maybe we can get like... What is going on with this? There's like a ton of neon signs that I kind of want to use, but it is kind of busy. For those that have been around for a while, you know that in London when it got super busy, it became really difficult to shoot. But let's just look, see if we can get this car. So I carried on panning because I was hoping that I would be able to get the shot of the dude through the other taxi. Oh, that's that's actually come up pretty sick. All right, I'm happy with that for sure. It's a good shot here, taxi over there. Let's have a look what we can get. Just kind of move around with the camera. See some of this dude over here, kind of on his own. If we can get, move to the right a bit. Bit of a simplistic shot and in portrait. 
see if we can get some of the people crossing the road. Uh, 200 of a second F 1.4 ISO 320. Okay, cool. Cool. Anything else around? Doesn't really work. I mean, this street's nuts. I haven't been down this street yet, but there's so much going on. Just walking down this street here, we've got kind of this couple just kind of just chilling together. And while people are walking past, it kind of looks pretty sick. And I'm thinking landscape, and we'll try and get some people entering the frame, and maybe exiting the frame. So I'm gonna change the focus area to center so I can get them in focus while people walk through the frame. So the shot I kind of want is somebody on the left, somebody on the right, somebody coming into the frame. So I'm just waiting for people to enter the frame. Ooh, I think I got one there. Did it work? Okay, for sure got it then. Kind of the, the idea I was going with there is I wanted to get the kind of resemblance of them being still around people that are in motion. So we're still in like the Shinjuku area, but we've come slightly away from kind of like the craziness. Um, there's a dude just chilling over here on his own. I'm gonna see if I can get a shot of him. I'm trying to be subtle, but knowing me, I probably won't be that subtle. And the bollard is right in the way. Kind of works. What about this? Does this work? Maybe. Wait for the cyclist. Kind of like a silhouette shot. Maybe. Possibly. There's like vending machine over there. Might work. Somebody walking in front of it. Let's try and get the silhouette of them. Change the settings a little bit. There's a dude just stood there actually. Nice. Sick. That actually looks pretty good. See if I can get opposite him now and shoot like a, a portrait shot instead where he's kind of got the background of the um, background of the vending machine on him. Sweet. Uh, gonna keep moving down. Basically, we're gonna walk down this way, which doesn't make any sense to you at all, but we're walking this way. Then we're gonna take a left, which is then gonna hopefully swing us back round to uh, back to where the, uh, the craziness is. There's a train going through the shot. I'm just seeing if I can just pan with it to get somebody. Is there anyone in the frame? Probably not. And maybe the conductor right at the end. Maybe I can pull that one out on post. Maybe I can't. If I can, then awesome. If I can't, then, well, that's just tough luck, I guess. I will try and get another shot um, further down of the trains, but I think for now we'll, uh, we'll keep going down. Definitely in the wrong settings, but we'll just try and get a nice steady pan and in the uh, landscape as well. Go on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Maybe something in there, pretty sure. Uh, just so you know, that panning shot was at 10th of a second, F5, ISO 320. Uh, I think this tunnel could be pretty cool. Maybe somebody coming towards me on a bike with lights on, but they don't tend to have lights on their bikes here. Well, they've got flashy ones, but it's not quite the same. Maybe another taxi. <laughs> There's a fucking bar in the way. No. Fuck's sake. Oh, this is kind of nice. A uh, hundredth of a second, F1.4. ISO 320. Let's get one in uh, portrait as well. Nice little detailed shot of person going past. It's a nice little area actually. Um, 
What else can we get here? Taxi over there with people walking in front of it. Anyone else going to cross in front of it? Okay. I'm going to wait for this taxi to go. Okay, taxi edging forwards. Ooh, that came out quite sharp. Okay, we've got quite a few shots here. We're going to move on to the next location. Um, also, beforehand, people have said that they want me to obviously talk, explaining the shots that I'm getting, but then also sometimes not do that, just explain some of the shots. So I'm kind of doing that now where I'm just like getting some kind of shots and being silent while I'm doing it, just so you guys can kind of enjoy the video at the same time. So you're not just listening to me 24 seven. Okay, so 250 per second, F1.4, ISO 800. Nice. So we've, we've come away from the main street onto this nice quiet street. Listen, it's so lovely and quiet. And there's uh, it's just some nicer uh, shots that you can kind of frame up. This one here. Maybe. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm just going to get one more shot here. This dude, see if I can kind of get him on the left. And then the street on the right is a bit too far. I can't, uh, maybe that works. I think it kind of does work. Maybe if I go a little further back. Ah, sick. That was nice. Lovely. 250 per second, F1.4, ISO 800. Okay, so this is really nice because you've got a nice contrast with like kind of the uh, left and the right because you've got oranges and blues in there. People walking through the frame. Let's get one in uh, portrait as well. I'm going to get more portrait as well. I've got a lot of landscape so far. But I'm going to try and get some more portrait ones at the same time. Dude on the bike. Let's get him in landscape as well. Dude crossing the road on the phone, on the bike. Oh, this is 7-Eleven heaven. Look at it. Look at this street as well. So beautiful. Maybe let's get this dude. Nice simple shot. 250 per second. F1.4. ISO 800. Just trying to walk with him and match his pace. Okay, got to get a nice detailed shot here of this dude just walking in front of us. Just of the hand and like the... The can of like laptop case. Get some other people in the frame and then we'll get one in portrait as well sick anything else like i'm looking up i've got the 85 so i can't do any like lookup shots because it wouldn't really work i'm just seeing what else we got I'm, I'm i'm feeling good maybe a phone box is there anything we could do with a phone box i don't know it'd be good if there was somebody in there but maybe we can get like a bit of a like exposure going on Get some reflections and shit. Um, someone's got to be like pretty close to it for it to work. Because you've got the reflections of the uh, the signs behind me and then you've got the people walking through the frame. I think if I go landscape. Oh yeah, that works. Okay, landscape works. Hold focus on somebody that's walking through the frame on the left hand side. Uh, kind of, it's kind of hectic, but it really, it kind of looks really cool. Dude walking towards me, looks kind of mean. Sick. So much going on. Also tonight there was like a, a lunar eclipse. Um, missed it completely because I didn't get a chance to see it, but complete eclipse of the moon tonight. Um, which so many people have been trying to capture, but it's just uh, not feasible, unfortunately. We'll also get this dude here with the smoke. Oh, that is good. It's some tasty stuff. Too slow. Do, do. Why is that song in my head?
flat, bro. Can I get some, yeah, can I get some sleep? Good thanks to meet you. I appreciate nice it. You. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Hopefully see you guys next week. Yeah, man, for yeah, sure. Well, when we get there, we'll go, we'll go and get a drink or something. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, so we're walking down the street where kind of like, I'll turn around so you can see. There's like a, a tower down the end, which looks really cool. Uh, it kind of works. I feel like I need somebody a bit closer. Uh, if I go in the center of the road. my last shot in Tokyo because we are leaving to go to Kyoto tomorrow and it's pretty late I mean it's it's nearly 10 o'clock we've been walking since what time did we leave Roxanne? One? We left at one so we're walking for nine and a half hours I mean I haven't shown all of that on here but we've been wandering around for nine hours not gonna lie, my feet are pretty dead. Tokyo's been amazing. It's been absolutely incredible to shoot here and have the chance to shoot here. I'm gonna be going to Osaka and Kyoto uh, to shoot down there as well. So subscribe, notification bell, so you get notified every time I do upload. Let's go and have a look at the hashtag Optical Wanda so you can guys can see what other people have been creating around the world. Before we jump into the hashtag Optical Wonder, if you haven't subscribed by now, you should have pressed the subscribe button. It's completely free. And if you think anybody would enjoy this video, then share it with your friends, family, or whatever. We're going to have a look at the hashtag Optical Wonder now, where you can show me the content you're creating and in turn inspire me and inspire other people around the world. Now, if you want to put the hashtag in your caption when you're posting to Instagram, that's the way you'll get seen. We're going to throw a screen record on now. And we're going to go down. We'll do a... Not too long, because we're already like, what, 30 three minutes long, I think. Okay, so we will go with this one here, which is nice. Uh, torrential rain. There was torrential rain here in Osaka yesterday as well, so maybe maybe this was in Osaka. No, it was in Hong Kong, I've just seen. Uh, this is really nicely framed. Uh, in this video I spoke about, um, uh, what's it called, landscape photos, uh, and this is a landscape photo, as you can clearly see, and it works very well, I think, with the white borders. Going down a little bit more, let's go with a black and white one. I like that. I might do a black and white street photography video here in Osaka or Kyoto. I'm not entirely sure if I will yet, but I might do. Sunset vibes, another landscape shot. And this one here, very nice, nice reflection shot. And we will go with, we'll do like three or four more. Won't go crazy, won't do loads. Um, let's do this one here. I like the like mist effect around the five guys logo and then we'll go with this one which caught my eye just now i love the blues against the gray in the background and another black and white one really nice i love the uh the detail like the how, the high quality of it um do, 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 do. we'll go with this panning shot and we'll do one more after this one and it will be the ooh, that one i like that love the colors i love that there's people sat in the windows on the left hand side there's a lot going on and I like that a lot. If you do want to get featured, you can use the hashtag Optical Wonder over on Instagram, uh, and I obviously get to see it when I go through it. Again, presets down in the description, merch down in the description, art list link also down in the description, and the 85mm uh, F1.4 Mark II is also down in the description. If you haven't already, subscribe, notification bell, create more, stress less, and I'll see you.